And we're recording. No more silly noises. <laughs> Hi, FlossTube. I'm Carrie. I'm Whitney. I'm Sarah. And we are Free Trail Stitchers. Yeah, we are. <laughs> so, uh, this is a channel about cross stitch and various other ramblings. Lots of ramblings. Um, so, it's Saturday. We're together for our movie day. We just had some Chick fil A. Right. Are you going to rhyme the whole time? <laughs> I just did it. <laughs> it was all right. It was. <coughs> it's not my favorite, but it was all right. It was okay. Well, we good have tea. Lunch. They do have delicious tea. They do have good tea. All right, we're not going to product placement. Oh, we're not. No. Mm -mm. Um. What else am I going to say? We went to CC today. Mm -hmm. We like ran some errands, went to CC, and someone posted Jordan that she saw us, and she didn't say anything because she said she was trying to fan girl, which I'm like. Whatever, we, you totally should have said something. Dude, yes. I've never had anyone fangirl me my entire <laughs> no, life. Ever. So I want to be fangirled. Yeah, you totally should have said something. I was probably super awkward because, you know, all the mask mandates are lifting. So I, they said you don't have to wear your mask if you're fully vaccinated. I wore my mask because I'm still like, yeah. And so I was probably being awkward and these ladies went mask. Free. Mask we're less. Living on the edge. Living on the edge. And it was we were pretty trying busy. It, it was, it was pretty busy. busy. I did not get anything. Sarah and Whitney bought a couple things, but they will show you during our haul portion. I was good. So next time you yeah. see us, say hi. We, yeah, please say hi. Yeah. We I mean, are we're I mean, awkward and socially <laughs> yeah. weird, but we will say hi back. Yes. We're awkward, so I'll get out, but that's okay. Um, feel free to say hello. Or if you're not comfortable saying hello, don't. And just send us a message later. Yeah, that's, that's great too. Socially. Or feel free to like slap one of them in the back of the head. <laughs> And then we'll sit, we'll turn around and be like, oh, hi, you're, you're just you're gonna walk home. up, get up real close and go, I know you. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you do on YouTube. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that's us. So we're a little crazy when we're actually in the room together. It's true. Um, other than that, um, things in Missouri are probably the same as everywhere else. The weather's decent, but now we're going to have rain until the end of time. Yeah, for like the next 10 days, there's a chance yeah, of rain. It's, it's getting real. Usually we have that early in the spring, um, but yeah. apparently this time it's just going to happen now, you know, right? When everybody wants to get outside and do stuff. You know, like two weeks of school, two and a half weeks of school left, and it's going to rain all the time, the so kids time. have to have indoor recesses. It should yeah. be fun. Well, and you want to try to get... The schools that are able to do like a field day mm -hmm. or something, you want to get that in. So of course, it's well, and like for the first yeah. time, they're doing a fifth grade graduation in the evening at our, one of our school at our school, and it's like, how do you pick? You know, they already picked the day. Hope it doesn't rain. Yeah. So, so we'll figure it out. It'll happen. It'll Just happen. Just like the rest of the last fourteen months of our lives. So, um, so we will get into cross stitch. What a novel idea! Right? <laughs> Talking crazy. about cross stitch, you're crazy. Um. <clears throat> We also went to the farmer's market, but there wasn't much yet. Yeah, not yet. A lot of craft booths. Mm -hmm. And some plants, like herbs and that kind of thing. But, yeah. But not a lot. Like herbs and gardening plants. But they look really pretty. So if you're an independent and you need like some <laughs> gardening plants to start your they garden. They have some nice ones. Yeah. The very first booth, as you are up under the farmer's market, not inside, had some really pretty plants. Yeah. I mean, and lots of herbs good. and different stuff. So, but hopefully over the next few weeks things will pick up at the farmer's market. It's just kind of a weird time in Missouri for that. So we are usually later in the summer when we start to see stuff. So I'm going to start with a previous finish that's not mine. It's my mom's. She made it for me before I cross-stitched. Before I cross-stitched. So because I'm going to show my Barbara Anna Dreaming Frida, I pulled this. So this is a Frida Kahlo pattern and I don't know the name of it. I should have looked it up before we started. Do you think it's Barbara Anna? Yes. Um, but this is another Frida Kahlo 1907. Um, and she finished it in this distressed frame that I bought at one point for something, probably a Disney picture. <laughs> that I, I love the frame. Uh, yeah, it's it perfect. Makes, it's perfect for it, yeah. Um, and she did an amazing job. And I'm sure it's on, it might be on 16. It could be 14 count. And it looks like Picture This Plus, to be honest. I don't know, but that one's cool. Yeah, she has a lot of Frida Kahlo patterns, but I really love this one. So that was stitched by my mom. So I just thought I would show that. Well, one. I can't find it, but if I can find it, um, I'll post it in the yeah. description below. Yeah, sorry, I meant to look it up and I did not. So. Oh, I could look in our inventory. No. 
I, yeah, I mean, there. Um, so finishes, no finishes. I have two. Ooh, look at you I go. Mean, they're small, so don't get too excited. <laughs> hey, it's still a finish. A finish is a finish. Finish is a finish. What's so I've been doing, um, neither one of those. None of those. Okay, okay. sure. Barbara. It's gotta be Barbara. Well, we'll, oh, we'll look it up and we'll make her tell us. Um, I have been stitching for my May plans was uh, Stitch the Parks May to stitch national park pieces because many of you have heard this. I want to hang them up with photos my grandfather took of the parks when he traveled with my mom and my grandmother in the 50s and 60s. Sure. So these are both by Open Road Abode. Uh, they're a little hard to find. I believe Stitch Modern has some, and I got my copies from the Silver Needle in Tulsa, and they do mail order. Um, these are postcards. So this is the Great Smoky Mountains, and I did it in, this is just like 14 count uh, Zweigert stuff from Hobby Lobby, and I can't find any more. So to check it out yeah, it's kind of got almost like a cloudy print on it. Yeah. yeah, and I really like it for these because, you know, it just makes me think blue skies, but so hopefully I'll find more. So I did Great Smoky Mountains, and it's in three colors, white, um, cornflower, cornflower. cornflower is the blue, and carriage. then carriage, carriage black, black is the brown black. I just used like fancy flosses I had laying around. So I finished that one, and then I finished the Badlands. And I did. We just say. Oh my god, it's a Yeti. <laughs> uh, I did the Badlands in a variegated floss that I'm pretty sure I bought from Sublime Stitching. When I was doing embroidery, I bought lots of stuff from Sublime Stitching because it's her, perfect for the Badlands. Yeah, her it's products are color. great, and she has some different floss collections. And I'm from the number on it, I'm pretty sure it was from that. So. And then I used that cornflower for the windshield and the windows. That's the only added color I had. I love the curtains, the checkered curtain. Yeah. So Badlands and Great Smoky Mountains are parks I've actually been to. So I stitched those first because my idea was to stitch it in colors that make me think of that park. And this to me is very Badlands, but I, it is. Yeah. I went to the Badlands when we drove through my friend Erica and I, it was dusk. And it was so pretty. It's it's a beautiful place. It like, really it's, is. Like it's, it's very desolate. It's very different, but it's there's I don't know. It's just really pretty. When the color hits it the right way, it's a beautiful yeah, part. So it's very pretty. Is it like okay? So you know when we drove through the Painted Desert, you really don't know it's the Painted Desert unless you're flying over it because that's when you really see the colors. I feel like the Badlands, you see the color like okay. the stuff on. Oh the yeah, yeah, like yeah. Those, yeah. that color is like perfect. Yeah. perfect. It makes mm -hmm. me think of Badlands. Yeah. So if you're, I mean, these are. Quick to stitch. I keep it in the table. It makes the camera move. These are quick to stitch. They're easy to stitch. You can do them in monochromatic. You can add colors if you want. Do whatever you want. I really like them if you're interested in stitching park stuff. I hope she does more patterns because um, they are really, her patterns are really fun. So those are my only finishes. Do you have a finish? I don't have a finish. Yeah, no, I've been finish. very lazy this week when it comes to stitching. So does someone else want to show whips or we have to go in order? We have to go in, we order. Have to go in order. I don't know why you ask, you know. So, <laughs> you know we have to go in order. We're like the least control freak people and now we're like, <laughs> must go in order. Must, must be ordered. Well, it took us like how many episodes to figure out an order. Yeah. So let's not mess it up. Okay. So I only have one whip because I worked on the Badlands. It didn't take long, maybe two nights. Yeah, you did that fast. Mm -hmm. So I picked up, because I don't have floss yet to do another one. I'm still thinking on it. I picked up my um, Dreaming Frida Sal by Barbara Anna. This is the last part. And I'm doing the hair. I'm starting at the end. Last night I stitched the whole um, Viva La Vida. And then now I'm filling it in with the black. And I really hope, I mean, this is how she did it. And this is how she planned it. And I know in certain lights, you're going to be able to see the words because it will be covered oh, up yeah. with this hair. darker and it looks amazing right now i'm kind of like i want to be able to see the words better but i know you don't question barbarana right when it's all done it'll be great it's going to be gorgeous and it goes so fast i mean i still have her to do um but it's just i can't recommend i mean i know i'm preaching to the choir but 
buy a Barbara Anna pattern because they're so easy to stitch and fun to stitch and her colors just work. Yeah, yeah. they're great. She's a genius. She is. I'm sure she's not watching, but if you are, <laughs> you're a genius. <laughs> you're a genius. We think you're a genius. So that's my only whip. Okay, I have three. Uh, this is why mom says Carrie and I have to <laughs> up our cross stitch this game. Is our good. Always has wits. Haunted house that I started on last week. I think the pattern is called Moonrise. That's by Whispered. Whispered. Whispered by the wind. Whispered by the, something like that. So I just have. I still have a lot to do. It looks it. great. And then I started this Happy Halloween Ouija board from the Witchy Stitcher. That's awesome. It looks it's amazing. On Be Stitch Me. <clears throat> Dark, it's a dark purple fabric. That yeah, and the fabric name. is pretty much just like it looks. Yeah. Yeah, it, that's it's actually really good lighting for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe we shouldn't have a light in here anymore. Yeah. <laughs> and then I worked some more on my gold finches by, I can't remember, Al uh, Al Force 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 Force. Yeah. And I just got these two little birds done and a little nest with the eggs in it. I've been trying to do 25 minutes on each project every night. Are these all be stitch me fabrics? These are all Be Stitch Me fabrics. This is called Ice Queen. It's like a light blue color. And then this one, I think with some leftover from a custom order she had on one of her fight nights and I bought like a half a yard. <laughs> of it. It's so good so though. It is. It's like a perfect spooky fabric. Mm -hmm. It's all Be Stitch Me. It's all 14 count. Because I am too blind to do 16. Yeah, and this is 14 count um, vintage country mocha, which I will buy more of because I really do like it. I love that. I want that for mm -hmm. some. Like yeah, trying to think. Great. You know what? This makes me think of the fabric mom did a bunch of her prairie schooler Santas on, and it's just yeah. a really good fabric. Colors just really kind of. I'm not off like of I'm it. not a huge neutral person, but I like this a lot. Yeah, the colors are perfect, and some things you just have to do on a neutral. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I feel like some neutrals colors just kind of. Eh, but yeah, something like this, the colors really good. Yeah, and it's really off. easy to stitch on. Like it's it's firm but not crunchy. Will you have some of that left over for something else? I think I'll have yeah, yeah not the least bit something small. Okay. All right. Um I like I said, I didn't do a lot of stitching this week. I've been really stitching lazy. And okay, when people post things that say there's no tired like teacher back to school tired, there's no tired like teacher holiday tired. There is no tired. Like end of the year during a pandemic <laughs> tire. <laughs> I just kind of go home and sit in my chair and I'm just kind of like in a daze. I don't know what to do. Anyway, so um, I have been working on part two of the Cozy Cafe, which is the matcha. I absolutely love that little cup with the um, cherry blossoms on it. Like I would love to have one of these little cups in your life and I'd have to look at your oh, Yeah, it's very cute, it's very pretty. Um, and so there's what I have done. It looks good. It does look good. Yeah, I've really, I'm like one stitch off, but you can't tell where it's at, so I don't care. Um, <laughs> and I love I stitching love on this. It. And this is Fiddler's Cloth 16. I got it at Joann's. And I just dunked it in um, Rose, Rose Quartz from Rit Dye, like uh, Mason Jar Dunking. And I think I dunked it two or three times and just pulled it out real quickly till I thought I had what I wanted. Yeah, we don't dye fancy. No, no, we die simple. And um, I love it. I will be doing this like, on something else. Um, and that is all I have. I have haul and plan up a plan, but that's it. That's all I've done. Sorry. Um, haul. So, yeah, haul. Don't you have the some give all for your haul? I had that before, though. I, had, I didn't buy it. Oh, but you have I can do it, it for plans, though. Okay. Cute. Carry on. Okay. <laughs> I just try to stand up and not show everyone my. my <laughs> you want to see my work? Okay, so I'll do my my haul. This is called Silence Is Golden, and it's by Rosie and Me. Oh, it's in there. And <laughs> it's like my project bag. <laughs> well, I can just hear Mama. <laughs> and it's like the perfect saying because of my four dogs that I have. It says, "Silence is golden unless you own a dog. Then silence is suspicious." I which that. is I like a the very colors true too. statement. Yeah, and yeah. it's only two colors, so I bought it and the floss to start it. And anyone who doesn't know, Rosie and Me is um, one of the owners of CC and Company. Is it Kathy? Kathy. Kathy? Yeah. So and she has an Etsy shop. Yeah. Mom just bought one 
the last weekend that's like a stitching we should have brought it and shown it we'll try to remember to bring it and show it next time it's a house and it has a really neat saying about stitching oh, yeah, well, you bought that no mom, her mom. shop is rosie and me creations yeah and that's she has stuff. the cutest lots of cute halloween things and lots of cute um snowmen Yes, and she has the cutest little Scotty dog that's sometimes in the shop, and I absolutely love it when the puppy's in the shop. Oh, I've never seen the puppy. Yeah. Oh. She hasn't had him up there, or her, I don't know, up there for quite a while, but sometimes she'll be in the shop. Yeah. All right, so I'm not going to, these are plans. I'll so do this under plans okay. because I bought them before. So since we went to Cece, I didn't, I didn't want Whitney to be the only one buying something because it makes her sad. Yes. So yeah, support. So I bought, um, this is Mystic Fabrics and it's called All the Things and it's a neutrally color. It's 16 count. And like when I was there, I kind of, I thought I just want something that I can stitch on it. And so <laughs> because because none of the other thousand patterns we own between all yeah, of us, yeah. including our work. moms, would work. I mean, come on. And so I found this prairie schooler, which is one we actually don't have, and it's called Garden Alphabet. And so yeah. I think I'm going to do my name and make small little pillows out of it. And then there might be some other words we stitch. But, um, <laughs> but I, I see these, and rather than doing a whole big thing, I think I want to do them as little bitty individual pillows, because I have that wooden bowl I stole from dad's. Mm -hmm. But now I have like 50 ideas for things to put in it. But this is one of the 50. So that's my haul. I don't know. <laughs> What's up, Cheryl? You want to yes. come be on TV? <laughs> no, she does not, for sure. Being very weird. Okay. How can you um, tell? Plans. <clears throat> I got plans. Well, I think tonight I'll probably keep stitching on this um, Dreaming Frida just to see how far I can get until I can figure out floss to use for. I have two, well, I have more than two, but. The other two of the open road and boat I want to do, and I can't show you because of the chart, are Yellowstone and Tetons. And then, oh, I think there's another one I haven't done. Yellowstone, Tetons. Oh, Devil's Tower. I definitely want to do Devil's oh, Tower. Devil's Tower. Ooh. And I'm super tempted to put a spaceship above Devil's Tower. Yes, yes, yes do that it. Would be amazing. Because of close encounters. I might um, have to do that one as well. Because you know, there's campgrounds a out there shows close encounters of like kind, all the time every right? night yeah. and so you get to watch the movie with those I mean, in the background it's amazing my cat is losing her mind with a ribbon right now she's flipping um she's place. also got a q-tip yeah they love q-tips okay <laughs> <laughs> it's a thing um and then my other plan is to start oh, i have two other plans uh this which is a dimensions kit and i don't know what it's called is it just called america Illustrated, Illustrated USA. Um, I got this for Christmas. Connie from Count Twice Stitch Once started it as part of her mania plans. And um, I was like, I need to dig mine out. She's like, we should sow, which basically just means start along <laughs> because <laughs> I doubt either one of us. She'll probably finish it before me. Um, so I'm going to, I surged the fabric. I'm going to do it on the Crunchy Ada. It's a lot of back stitching, but not like a huge amount of actual stitching. No, because uh -uh. it's pretty spread out. Um, and this is what we've been debating all day. So I'm going to, if you're from St. Louis, I apologize now, but, um, the symbol for Missouri, each state has a symbol. And by the way, Kansas is wheat. Yes. Of course it is. Yes. Um, the symbol for Missouri is the gateway arch. And, um, as somebody from Kansas city, the other side of the state who comes from independence, which we consider the true gateway, gateway to, to the West. West we got issues with the gateway arch. It's beautiful. It's lovely. Yeah, it's, know, neat, it's neat it's to go lovely. up It's lovely. Yeah. It's neat to look it's at. It's fun to be terrified while going up in the Yeah, elevator. it's terrifying. But, but um, so I might take the gateway arch out and put something that's more Kansas City centric. I might put a wagon wheel or something that makes me think more of independence, like our side of Missouri. I... Everything you see from Missouri. Starbucks it's, cups. Yes, it's always the arch. Yeah. And it's always St. Louis specific. Yeah, I mean, we have, we had the stockyards pretty much, you know, in yeah. the They're huge late though. 1800s yeah. and 1900s. If beef yeah. came from everywhere, it came from the stockyards in Kansas City. And we have the sand of the I mean, three we've trails. Got barbecue. We've got Truman. We've got barbecue. We've got, barbecue. <laughs> we've got burn ins. I mean, there's we have a, a football lot. team. They don't have a football team anymore. We have a Super Bowl. We have a Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes. We have a Patrick Mahomes. You can put Patrick Mahomes face on there. <laughs> I can put Patrick Mahomes. You know what we're going to have? A Whataburger. 
We're gonna have one. <laughs> So anyway, so there's a W on there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for whatever, whatever, whatever W. In spicy ketchup. Stitch it in spicy ketchup. So anyway, uh, this is where we've gone off the rails. So I, we're, we're sorry, St. Louis, but. Yeah, we love you, our friends to the east, but. Um, I'm sure you would feel the same way if everything was. <laughs> was Kansas City. Was Kansas, like a big cow with KC on it. I'm sure you'd So that. I'm going to pull the arch out and put something else in. But I have to think about it because I'm pretty sure starting in the middle is Kansas because that's just the middle of the country. So yeah. we're right next door. That's kind of how it works. My other plan is Memorial Day is coming up, as I'm sure you all know. Um, this is actually a Veterans Day piece from Heartstring Samplery that I apparently can't open a Ziploc. And They're this hard. is uh, Veterans Day at Turn. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, at Twin Gables. Um, but I want to stitch this in addition to Memorial Day, my grandpa's birthday's coming up at his, the end of May. His birthday's on Memorial Day. Oh, this year, yeah. Well, it always is. The 31st is always Memorial Day. Oh, I'm talking about like the weekend. I was thinking of the weekend though. Like, well, I know, off. but you get a different day off, but the 31st yeah. is on. Okay. Wow. There you wow. go. <laughs> I mean, wow. Jeez. It's like, um, what was I going to say? It's like who's on first. Yeah, there's some other one, though, that it's always like, it's like saying when Cinco de Mayo or something. <laughs> <laughs> Which I would probably do as well. But when Cinco um, de Mayo? It's like when I worked at the bookstore, <laughs> people, this is awful, but what people would come in and they'd be like, who wrote the Diary of Anne Frank? <laughs> or who wrote Dante's Inferno? And we would, I would just be, you know, I mean, I had good customer service, so I was, but I was just be like, you need to stop and repeat that sentence to yourself. Yeah, <laughs> but my favorite is still the person who came in and asked you for the nonfiction book about dragons. Yeah, nonfiction book about dragons. Hey, What's although, how about all of our, um, I mean, we, we're believers, Mothman. <laughs> Give me that nonfiction I mean, book about Mothman. Give me that nonfiction book about Bigfoot. Exactly. Give me that nonfiction book about Bigfoot. So I'm going to stitch this. It says some gave all at the bottom, which I do like, but I think that I will turn that. My grandfather was in World War II. He was in the U.S. Coast Guard. So I think I will probably put like USCG and then 41 to 45. I'm going to put my grandpa's initials and like probably the year he was born. Um, so I'm thinking of throughout this year, starting projects on people's birthdays. Uh, a lot of people have been doing that, and I really like the idea. So my grandmother's birthday is in October. I kind of want to do that, too. Your birthday is the next one coming up. Yeah, and as we get closer to October, I'll show you what I'm planning to do from her, which is another heartstring samplery. What are you planning on doing for me? I'll show you. It's um, the Philip Foster Farmhouse, but I don't have it ready oh, to show you, so okay. I'll show it again. So those are my many and varied plans. So Memorial Day, start, or, yeah, um, this which I'd like to start soon. And then of course my stitching the parks. Me, my plan, sorry, I was looking for the next thing I needed in the sick. Um, tonight I'm gonna work on the Halloween Ouija board. I love that so much. I do too. Those colors are just so good on And that. my plans are still just to try to keep up with 25 seven, 25 minutes on each project every day. That's, That's awesome. what I'm trying Go, to girl. do at least through the month of May. So Killing I it. <laughs> So I can get those done. But those are my my plans. I don't have any like starts or anything. Like oh that no, plans. lengthy twenty minute plans. No, no, like lengthy, me. no, no. Because <laughs> these are all big. Well, not this one. But oh yeah, I don't. Do I need to start any of this? No, I got. Well, that doesn't stuff. mean anything because now I have a new pattern that I'm gonna <laughs> want to start. Yeah. So. Um, my goal is this week. This week, my goal is to finish part two of Cozy Cafe, the matcha. And to start my Bigfoot bunch from um, Plum Street Samplers, I have the fabric, I have everything ready. So I wanna start this this week. And they put it in, was it on Instagram? I think so. They had some of their new patterns coming out. And I love the three little animals, the trio stocks, and the new one is a hedgehog. So I will probably be ordering that like super, super fast. Um, and I really, I have my hedgehog bag from Aunt Vicky, and so, Whitney's mom, <laughs> and so I really want to get a bunch of hedgehog patterns just thrown in there together, and that may even be yeah. what I, I might take my hedgehog bag with me to Disney for our Disney yeah. stitching. Um, and so those are my current plans, uh, and I think I might 
pull out something I already have going. I really wanted to get my Harry Potter part one from Good Morning Maui finished oh, before yeah. the school year oh. starts. And so I might pull that out and make that a 25-7. Yeah, and it's just amazing how nice. much you can get done. Just yeah, get and those, I mean, her patterns go so fast, especially the little people, because there aren't a ton of color changes in them, and they're just very easy and relaxing to stitch. So I think I'm going to pull that out and put it in my basket next to my chair, and that's going to be my 25-7, and then these will be my rest of the yeah. evening stitches. So. Plans. We got plans. We got, all we got some plans. plans. We got plans. We got plans. They'll change at any moment, because that's how we do. Because that's how you're old. Um, and other stitching news, um, we think we'll probably do, we're pretty close to 600, which is amazing. What? Yeah. That's amazing. 600 of you want to listen to this? Because <laughs> I can't even get 20 kids in a classroom to listen to this. So uh, 600 of you? We don't know many other people that would want to listen to this for Yeah, and our moms won't even listen to it for now. Uh, that's true. <laughs> Hashtag truth. Um, so at 600, we're going to do a smaller giveaway. We're going to do a grime guard, I believe, and a pattern. So we'll let you know when we reach that. We don't know when. We don't know when, but we'll give it a surprise. Eventually. But when we get there, we'll let you know. In other stitchy news, we are also, we talked last week about it, but we are going to be going to Galleria. It's official. We have yeah, a room. We will be there Friday and Saturday. Yeah, yes. we're staying Friday night. So we will get up early. St. Louis is about three and a half hours yeah give or take depending on traffic once you get to st louis <laughs> although it's in st charles right it's in st, it's st. In st. Charles. charles i feel like we made really good time last yeah. time we yeah so we'll get up that friday morning drive in and we should be there before it starts at 10 and then shop we might um film our floss tube there friday night mm -hmm. i think that'd yeah. be good um and then we'll shop again on saturday yes. do like a last minute sweep of anything we want to get I gotta start saving my pennies. Yeah, and same. so if you're going to gallery, it'll be great to see you guys. Meet you. It's so weird. Maybe it would be fun to do just like a little Yeah. We could have a time. If you just want to like gather and stitch or something, we'll figure out a time. Yeah, because I, I know quite um some people were mentioning that they're planning to go, so it'd be really nice to yeah. meet people face yes. to face. You can experience Creepy. all this awkwardness in person. In person, yeah. live and in person. What? We'll apologize in advance. Yeah. Of course, she's going to apologize for us. Yeah, I'm going to apologize for both of them because I'll be the one just sitting there, probably not talking at all. But I'll let them talk for me. So that's our plan for next September. Um, um, before we switch over, though, Jessica, I did mail Yay! your prize. It went out. Tuesday night. Yeah, it went out Tuesday after work. It's in the mail. And it's Jessica. It's not Jennifer. And it's not Allison. No. And she's it's very Jessica. kind. She's about very it. kind about it. Butchering her name. I can remember 360 student names every year, but someone that is, you know, commented and that I follow on Instagram. I yeah. can't remember. <laughs> name, so thank you for being very kind. So if it hasn't arrived yet, I'm hoping it will arrive shortly. Um, and I hope you enjoy everything that's in the package. So. Yeah, I mean, it has to go all of 15 miles. Yeah. It so does, which it'll means probably take 20 years. it'll probably I mean, go to California, right. yeah, to New York, back. to Canada, Guatemala, the hanging yeah. baskets of Babylon, and then we saw Next time, if you win something, we're just going to meet you at CC. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if anyone <laughs> local wins again, we'll meet you at CC and hand it off. It is nice how many local stitchers there are. And someone mentioned that they do a stitching thing at Quilter Station oh, yeah, that's once right. a month, which yeah. is very cool. I heard maybe Quilter Station, I thought mom said they're going to have a um, retreat with, I don't know, now I feel like I'm just making stuff. Like up. a stitchy retreat or something? Yeah. No, I feel like mom said that, but I didn't see anything on their page, but that doesn't mean anything. Yeah. Um, so anyway, so Quilter Station is another great store. They're a quilting store, but they do carry more cross-stitch than they used to, and they have some picture of this plus fabric. And they also floss. carry um, a lot of the fancy floss. They carry Cosmo wool. wool. Yeah, yeah, and they and they do felt of wool. They felt their own wool. Yeah, so they, they used to do that for applique. They might st they might have started doing it again, but in the before times, they did like punch needle classes and yeah, um, applique. I think maybe that stuff will yeah, kind of start picking up. So they might be doing it. Yeah. I don't know. It's not so anyway, I feel like so you never know. Maybe one thinking. Saturday we'll show up at the cross stitch. Yeah, Just, I mean, I think it's cool how many stitchers there are in this area. Yeah, I always feel like. By the way, I was thinking earlier, there are some people who watch Floss Tube, like Bendy Stitching watches Floss Tube on 
like two times, like she speeds it up. Like some people do that, so they can watch more floss tube. They speed oh, it up. okay. Like they do it at one point oh, five, and I'm like, like saying, I'm so sorry because I talk at two times speed normally. Anyway, yeah, she talks at two point five anyway. So, so I feel like you guys are like, that's all you're hearing, and we talk with our hands, so it's just like. I think it would be nice once the libraries are back open for just going and yeah to have like a small group that would meet maybe at 24 highway or in blue Springs. Oh, yeah. we could even meet at the different libraries around kansas city uh, yeah and do just like a stitching evening or just that'd be fun a, a stitch and great it'd be cool yeah uh, like i can't say that a word. stitch and complain a stitch and um, <laughs> complain <laughs> word that complain rhymes word with that stitch. rhymes with stitch um but yeah so anyway our, i just had that thought in my head and you know, maybe it would be good for me yeah. to actually have to talk to people in person. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. It's going to be so weird. I was I telling somebody in the with comments that, in the before times. that like part of me feels like, because my mom was like, I've been done pretty well with this whole pandemic thing because I've always just been an anxious person. And I said, oddly, I feel like my anxiety throughout my life has prepared me for this very moment <laughs> because you're always, when you're a person that lives with anxiety, as I'm sure a lot of us do, um, you're always waiting for that other shoe to drop. So I think, right. but I said to me, this is the hard part. The masks are dropping, going back into society. Yeah, where do you feel comfortable? So to me, that's the part that's very like walking on eggshells, but we'll get there. We'll all get there. And some people share that. Well, idea yeah. so but it's like Whitney told you earlier you I have think to do you what have to do what's comfortable, comfortable. Yeah, yeah exactly and I think if you have people out there that are bugging you about what you is comfortable for you you, you walk away it's just like yeah. whatever your opinion means absolutely because nothing it's strange to go into a place without a mask it yes. is yeah like you feel like you're you're doing it wrong like, like in CC <laughs> she was wearing her mask and we weren't but even I was kind of like I, uh, like I had it in my yes. hand the whole time. I'm like, should I? Well, wait, should I put it on? Yeah, and the girl who checked us out had her mask on. And I thought, but the other lady didn't. But, have but the other didn't on. have hers on. And I'm like, do I put it on? Do it's I not? Like, like so, so we have to learn how to human again. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, that's our little aside. But it's exciting to think about meeting people and going to Galleria and going to places and traveling. Jeez. Going to the movies. Whitney and I We're are going, going to back the to the movies, movies tomorrow. <laughs> a big deal. If they were seeing something I'd want to see, I'd go with them, but I'm excited for them because this is at least two movies a week. Yeah, and if, so, if not three. Yeah. I mean, you guys are the queens we of the double movie days. All the time. And two in a yeah. row. So we're going back to the movies tomorrow for the first time in almost 15 months. Yes. So, yes. um, it's so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> So, and even though I don't care about going to see what they're seeing, I'm excited for them. So yeah, this, is, this is a big deal to them. This it's is something it's they just did little, for years. It's all those like little steps, like going back to a restaurant for the first time, going, you know, it's like all those little. Well, steps. and I think like feeling safe taking mom to a restaurant. Or, yes. Or yeah. you know, you feeling safe taking it well, somewhere, it's things like that. Too, but like. Part of the reason I moved out here was like, hey, so you we could do movie? things. Yes, yeah, you want to go out to dinner? Like, like we could do these last minute things and together, been able and to we do haven't. That, so. Yeah, like Whitney moved, and literally two, two weeks, weeks later, the was. world shut down. Yeah, and and we kind of thought, okay, we're not saying that's related. But I mean, we're not saying it's related, but it did happen. Um, and we kind of at first we were like, well, we've always been together. Maybe we can get together. And then we thought. Maybe we shouldn't get together. Then Carrie yeah. and I went back to school and we were like, are we exposing everyone in our lives to everything we're exposed to? And so it's just kind of one of those hit and miss things. And I it's feel like, crazy. I feel yeah. like now, since we've been able to get back together for quite a while, it, it's starting to feel a little bit more. Different. Yeah. It's yeah. Nice. It feels, it definitely feels more positive. More, more positive. Like a move in the right direction. Not I out hate that I moved out here. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's not over by any means, but at least it's little baby steps and we're doing yeah. what we got to do. Yes, this absolutely. So do what makes you comfortable. Yeah. If things are drop, masks are dropping in your town, we want to wear masks, wear masks. Yeah. yeah. And forget people. And if, and if someone says something to you or looks at you weird, remember, right. hey, listen. they can't see what you're mouthing behind that mask. <laughs> <That's> exactly <laughs> right. The beauty of the mask. That has been the nice part about the mask. <laughs> <laughs> So that was um, a tangent. That was mask tangent. That was mask corner. Um, so that would probably be it for stitching. So to <laughs> recap, we went on the <laughs> like, we're roundabout. Where are we? Um, we'll do a giveaway at 600, whenever that is. 
we're going to Galleria, and you know, that's it for stitching, I think. I think and we I have think. more plans than we have time in the next week to obtain those true. plans, except for Whitney, who's being. I'm trying. Logical. Well, I mean, you're making She's games. stitching like her. a boss, okay? Mom's right. Carrie and I need to up <laughs> our game. <laughs> I sure. definitely need to. Uh, Carrie at least comes home and stitches every night. Yeah, but you have to think, I get off work earlier than yeah. you guys do, so I usually stitch right after work. And well, then, I know, but you know, so. uh, what do I have to do? Come home and stare at my cats? Come home and watch Bob's Burgers? Well, I could pick so. something up and stitch, but sometimes, sometimes it's just, don't. I, mean, I can't. Yeah, I'm like that. Like, sometimes I just don't. I, I pick up the iPad it. and I'm like, mm, um, yeah, you just can't. I'll pick it up stress and be yourself like, out about it. And, be like, mm. yeah. and if you stress yourself out about it, you're not going to want to do it. No, because then yeah. you don't enjoy it. When it becomes like work, work yeah, then you don't. That's what bad. I am looking for is time to also incorporate, do some art back in my days. Yeah. So. Anyway. <laughs> oh my goodness. Another tangent. Oh. Those follower numbers just gonna fall off. Right. They're like these ladies. <laughs> they ain't never getting to six hundred. They ain't gonna get nothing away. <laughs> so we are going to stop talking about stitching now. If you are not interested in our, it would probably be a pretty quick media corner. You know you say that every. You week say that every time. <laughs> just stop lying. I feel like I don't watch that stuff much stuff. So um, it's usually me that rambles. So. Just if you don't pick that up. What? Um, if you don't listen to what we're reading, watching, or listening to, then you can, you can click out and we'll see you next time. But thank you for coming. Yes, thank um, you. But if you do want to listen to that, I mean, if you haven't had enough already, here we go. This is us on caffeine. Um, or just anytime. <laughs> just anytime. <laughs> then we're going to start talking about that now. So I am still reading the Nevada Bar book. Um, I still like it. But what was else was I reading? Oh, I wish I brought that inside. I bought a, an impulse buy book um, last Saturday and I'll show it next time. And it's sort of like a art memoir kind of thing. And I really like it. I posted a quote from it um, on my Insta stories recently. So anyway, I will show it next time, but I do like it. And it's just kind of a pickup when you feel like it and read it. Um, watching, I watched, the last couple nights I went back to The Handmaid's Tale. I'm still on season one, but folks, oh, yeah, it's too real. <laughs> yeah, um, so I've been watching that. It's really good, but what else did I watch? I watched something else. I watched lots of Datelines. Oh, I watched and I shared it. It's called The Crime of the Century. It's a two-part documentary on HBO. Um, it's about four hours, each part's two hours. And it is about um, big pharma and oh, um, basically the opioid crisis. And it focuses on like the pharmaceutical companies. So something that makes me very mad. Oh my Lord. Yeah. I mean, I started it, I think Wednesday night and I stayed up to finish it. Like I stayed up later than I should have to finish it because, and I mean, by the time I went to bed, I was just like, Ugh! like it was, it, if you want to get angry, which sometimes it's good to get angry, um, you got to let that out sometimes, then by all means, watch it. Very well done. Um, but yeah, it'll, it'll make you mad. <laughs> and if it doesn't make you mad, then I don't know. Yeah. Um, so highly recommend that. And then listening to, I basically all week listened to Moonrise, which is the third podcast from Lillian Cunningham, who did Presidential and Constitutional. And this one is about the space race. And I told them, like, it was amazing. I have about 30 minutes left of the last episode. But it is, if you're even the least bit interested in space, like I told them, like, I probably, I've always been interested in it. I probably know more than most people, but less than <laughs> a lot of people about space. Um, just because it's always been an interest. And, like, our parents worked at Johnson Space Center before we were born um, for contractors. Um, so it's always interested me, but it's very interesting. I learned things that I never knew about the space race. It also talks about, um, because it's the race, it talks about Russia almost equally as much as the United States. So it's really fascinating. All kinds of stuff I didn't know. I highly recommend it. I think it's only 11 episodes, yeah. but I can't wait for her to do another podcast because she just, it's so, they're so well done and her voice is just like super soothing and I always learn something. That's it for me. That's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. I 
have the Nevada Bar book, but I haven't read any of it. I got sucked into this show called, oh, where is it at? It's called In Search of Monsters, <gasps> which <laughs> is it on Discovery? Plus? It's on Discovery Plus, of course. But I it talks about like the Loch Ness Monster, Wendigos, Chupacabra, the Yeti, the Beast of Bray Road. Like oh, it's I amazing. always think of that supernatural clip, that blooper where they're like, Chupacabra. yeah, it's it's amazing. And uh, um, podcast, I've just been listening to Morbid, which is a true crime pod. It's not super morbid like you would think from the title it's sort of along the lines of my favorite murder ish okay it's two ladies that do it they just like the one i listened to yesterday was the axe man of new orleans oh okay um so it's it's really good i recommend it uh one of my coworkers recommended it to me and oh. i really like it add that. and that's it for me um i'm still reading the graphic novel novel lightfall i haven't spent a lot of time reading this week either but um, I think I'm halfway done with it. It's really good, and it's a series, so I'm anxious to get the next one or two from my library. I, that'll probably be one I promote next year. Um, watching this week, I fell down a little bit of a rabbit hole with Discovery Plus with um, Paranormal Caught on Camera, and the whole reason I fell down the rabbit hole, I just picture, like, ghosts, like, caught on camera, like, right. literally, like, like, oh, like well, okay. It, it, okay, all right. All right. I believe in Oh, that. we're going to go on this thing. Here we go. Here we go. So um, the first episode, I'm going to show the picture in just a second. The first episode, it was about like a haunted school in Ireland and like what things were caught. Like they have cameras, they put cameras in at some point mm -hmm. and what things were caught after like this set of lockers banging against the oh. wall, a poster that looks like not just falls off the wall. It's like you almost physically see someone ripping it and throwing it. A chair rises off the ground and falls and like they tried to debunk it and they couldn't find anything and apparently the, the school's over a hundred years old but after some of this stuff came out people started coming forward who used to be employees there saying well yeah we've always known the school's haunted um so it was really good but on this episode is the very first episode they talked about when well, they talked about aliens and different things but they talked about these black cloud rings that people would see in the sky all over the world and at one point they go even at the happiest place on earth in 2016 and i'm like wait a minute happiest place on earth disneyland 2016 oh, of course that's disneyland yeah it's disneyland even though it's really disney world um i was like we saw a black cow cloud ring i wonder when carrie and i were at disney so i start flipping through all of my photos trying to figure out when carrie and i were at disneyland and sure enough we saw this is my picture of the black cloud ring and then this oh it's so weird it's and then this strange. was the picture on the tv show and it's about the exact same time of day just a different angle mm -hmm. i think it was probably the night we went to watch um not world of color but the other one. no we paint went to night. we went to watch paint the night because the pictures I that don't remember the cloud though she doesn't remember it, but I swear we stood there talking about what it. What if that's part of the cloud? What if it is? <laughs> what if it's what? Yes. So they gave, they kind of were, they were kind of debunking some of them because apparently a cloud had been seen, seen like that above Burning Man. And apparently there's something that when they start, when they start some of these big fires, the ring that starts it, it literally creates lifts, a ring of smoke yeah. that lifts. And I do remember saying to Carrie, I bet that's something from the fireworks at California Disney, um, or California Adventure. Uh, and then we just went on with our evening and, you know, completely forgot about it I was on the show. But then other people, there's like no explanation. Like one appeared above this neighborhood and there's, n there's no explanation for why it would be there. There's no fireworks going on. There's no fire. So anyway, I was so excited because I have one of their paranormal experiences on my phone. <laughs> I mean, like, I FaceTimed Perry and Mom. I sent them pictures while we were talking. I was so excited. Um, and so it's, I'll, that's probably what I'll end up watching tomorrow with some more of those episodes, unless you gotta watch the monster show. I start the monster show, because I might start that. Um, listening to, I've just been, I listened to some more, um, oh, The Graveyard Tales, and then some more of The Grim Grimmer Grimmest. Yeah, and thank you, Jessica, for suggesting other podcasts. I'm going to add them to my list, other, like, kid-friendly podcasts, because 
and thank you to all of us for all of you for all of us. <laughs> thank you to us. To thank all of you for um, not judging our love of true crime and right? weird, creepy yes. stuff. So. Yeah, because we every time one of you's like, "Have you ever heard of this?" and we're like, "Oh yeah, oh yeah," <laughs> then they're done that. Yeah. It's just you know, it's just what we do. It's what we do for fun. Watch Datelines for nonstop. I've it's really true. been back into Dateline. Really? I don't know why. I, I'll have like. 20 saved up on my DVR and I'm like, eh, I'm not in the mood. And like this week I probably watched like eight date lines <laughs> from like two 2020s. Did you ever finish that three part one? Yeah, that guy. Did it make you bad? Because he's probably going to get uh, so Apparently everything makes me mad lately because I watched that other thing too, but yeah. Just that time At the end of that episode, that third episode, I was like, what? Yeah. I was so angry. Okay. So that's probably it for us. We've, I'm sure we've we're out uh, yeah, it's always a surprise to see at the end, like how long it how is. long it's been. It's always <laughs> exciting to see. Right. We're so sorry. <laughs> um, so I hope that you guys have a great week. I hope you get some stitching in. If you uh, can't get enough of us, hit that subscribe button right. and, and go back and we start got a, from the beginning. We got a thumbs down for the first time. It really bummed Whitney out. I, was like, I know. I was so sorry. I was so sad. Yeah, thumbs down. Yeah, Somebody surprised. doesn't love us. I'm yeah, surprised. okay, but a friend at work told me there will be trolls that go on and just give random thumbs down. Oh, I know, it was kind of a kid. <laughs> yeah, it was probably Wade. <laughs> hey, Wade, <laughs> go fix it. I totally don't. I have, I'm not a care in the world for someone to give us a thumbs down. But No. No, because um, we're not everyone's cup of tea, but then you don't need to subscribe and watch. Well, and I think there's like so many... As we've said before, we've said it over and over again, there's a floss tuber for everyone. Um, and so if you don't like a certain person, then find somebody else that you yeah, like. I mean, uh, what I do like is people have said, we love that you stitch on Ada because I do think there are recent floss tubers who do stitch on 18, 16, 14 count. And it's nice to see that. Not that there's anything wrong with linen, believe me, no, but it no, just feels the like- linen is beautiful, but sometimes it feels like that's it is like, like we're a little, yeah. you know, we don't like, do all like, the fancy oh, stuff and the over one. In. Um, but so it's nice to know that that's a niche that, um, we can fit into. And if you know. there's not someone out there for you, start a floss tube channel. Yes. Yeah. And then let us know about it so I yeah, can watch so it. Yeah, so we can watch it. We'd love to watch it. So I've been trying to watch more floss tube because I realized I missed um, Lollipop Stitches last floss tube. And I don't know, I think it was one of the weeks where I probably just wasn't watching a ton of floss tube. And so I was like flipping through all my <laughs> list of people I follow and I'm like, how did I miss this? So I was watching her this morning. Um, recommend her to you. Yeah, she's, she's great. Watch. She's she probably amazing. Does not need, you all know her, but. Uh, so anyway, so that is it for us today. We're going to go watch movies, and then later we're going to make tacos. Taco night. Taco my night. favorite food. We're actually going to cook. That's yeah. a big deal for us. We haven't cooked in a long time. time. No, we we usually we just get stuff. Yeah. But yeah, we did. We used to cook yeah, all, all the time. time. Yeah. <laughs> we're lazy. Um, so we're going to go do that, and we're going to be lazy, and we're going to watch movies. So I hope you guys have a great um, rest of your weekend. Get some stitching in. Take care of yourself. Do what makes you comfortable. That's right. As Whitney says. Because the world is... That's all that matters. Weird is all get out now. Hey, don't pour gas. And don't that's how that. it should always be. Oh, you know, yeah, stop pouring gas. There are no rules. Do what makes you happy. That, yes. it's, that should be... Every no time. matter what. That's that so should true. be your, that should be your morning That's mantra. So Do what makes Do you what happy. Makes Do what happy. makes you Do comfortable. Do what makes me yeah. comfortable. Do what makes me feel safe. Forget everybody else. Yeah. yeah. You live your life, you're, you yeah. take care of you and yours and do what makes, not saying be a selfish jerk and don't care about other people. We're not yeah. saying you know that. Don't hoard gas. Let them judge. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Don't hoard gas. Yeah, if, no, if that's being selfish. Don't put it in the Target bag. Don't put it in the Target. Don't put it in the laundry baskets with the holes. It's buy not going to hold. Just buy a gas can. It's so Sorry, crazy. guys. It's just some of the things. <laughs> I guess that's easy for us to say up here in Missouri. That is. It's easy for us to say. But if you're gonna hoard it, put it in a normal gas can. How do you hoard it properly? <laughs> hoard it properly, okay? Like, hoard it, hoard it safely. Safely. Hoard it like really you safe. would just cross stitch that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Keep it safe. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go. We gotta go. Yeah, we'll we gotta go. We we've gotta watch the Zodiac. We've got things to do. Yeah. We so, love you guys. But bye. We gotta go. Thank you. Bye. See bye. you. Bye. We love you.